Let's look at one example of how to find internal resultant loads. Um, this is a case where we have a beam. So it says determine the resultant internal loadings on the cross section through point C. Assume the reactions at the supports A and B are vertical. So we know that A and B, whatever these are, I don't know, pins, not pins, they only exhibit Y forces and no X forces. And then we have this distributed load here that we're going to have to simplify. So the way we're going to simplify this is we know that the area of a triangle is one half base times height. So we're just going to do one half times the base, which is three meters, and times the height, which is three kilonewtons per meter. So right here you see this, and we end up with 4.5 kilonewtons. That gives us the magnitude of this total distributed load. Now we want to find where we're going to place this load. And typically the center of a triangle is located one-third away from here and then one-third up. But we only care about where it's located on the x-axis. So it'll be one-third of this total distance. So we have three meters. One-third of that is one meter. So it's just going to be one meter from this point. So I think this would be about one meter. So I'm going to place it right there. And our weight is going to be 4.5 kilonewtons. And then we have our AY and BY, which I just drew in arbitrarily, and I presume that they were pointing up, which we'll find out whether they are or aren't once we solve for them. Now, you could find either AY or BY first, and I chose to put my rotation axis at point B and find AY first. So I need to solve for the total moment about point B. So I did negative AY times 4 meters. Now, the negative accounts for the fact that this AY will cause a clockwise direction, so it's negative, plus 6 kilonewtons times 3.5 meters. Now it's plus because it'll cause a counterclockwise rotation, and plus 4.5 kilonewtons because that will also cause a counterclockwise rotation. And then once we chug through the math, we end up with AY equals 7.5 kilonewtons. Now because it ended up positive, it means that the way we drew it is correct. So AY is pointing up. Now once we found AY, we want to find the resultant internal loadings at point C. So basically what I'm going to do is just cut the beam at point C, and that will allow me to find all of the internal loadings. So we have three types of internal loadings. We have the normal force loading, which I would call NC, um, the shear loading, VC, and the moment, MC. So we need to find all three of these in order to fully solve the problem. So the easiest one to find is NC because if we do the sum of the moment, the sum of the forces in the x direction, NC is the only one. Therefore, NC equals zero. Now, if we do the sum of the moments in the y direction, we have positive AY, negative 6 kilonewtons, and negative VC. So you can see that here. So VC ends up to be 1.5 kilonewtons. And once again, because it is positive, it means that the way we drew it is the correct convention. So it should be 1.5 kilonewtons pointing down. Now, if VC was had come out to be negative 1.5 kilonewtons, it means that our drawing is the opposite of the actual way it should be drawn. So if this was negative 1.5, our drawing should be pointing up in actuality, but it's not. So 1.5 kilonewtons pointing down. Now for MC, the moment I just drew it randomly, you could have drawn it the other way. You would just have to account for that with your signs. So what I did is MC, the moment about point C, equals zero. So we start off with AY, so negative AY times one meter. And it's negative because it causes a clockwise rotation about point C. Plus six kilonewtons, it's positive because it causes a counterclockwise rotation about point C. And plus MC, because MC also is going counterclockwise, I'm going to say that it's plus MC. If I had drawn it the other way, 
going clockwise, it would have to be negative mc. It doesn't matter. Either, either way, you will get the right answer. So then mc, uh, I just plugged in all my numbers, software, and I got the moment uh, internal loading to be 4.5 kilonewtons times meter. And that is that turned out to be positive. That means that the way I drew my moment is correct. So it should be 4.5 kilonewtons per meter counterclockwise. And once again, these are the three internal loadings that uh, I just solved for. NC was 0, VC was 1.5, and MC was 4.5. It's important to always account for um, your final direction, right? Whether it's pointing left, right, up, down, cl clockwise or counterclockwise. Now, you could have also solved this problem by cutting the beam and solving the other half. Either way, you still will get the exact same answer. You just need to pay attention to um, the detail, like directions and which way you're drawing things as compared to as to what the actual answer is. Um, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it. We just solved the problem.